pops up. Um, I really recommend printing this off and having this um, right there on your desk while, while you're doing this assignment. In order to add media, you have to use code. Just like we would embed videos into the website, you had to click on the source page. Um, you're you're going to have to do something similar, except you don't have to click the source page. You just have to use that language, that code. And so this explains all that. So go ahead and print this off, and then uh, let, let's use it. So I'm going to go here to Google Earth. And I've already found where I want to put my place marker. This is Gettysburg, so, so I want to use a place marker here. So I'm going to find this little tack right up here, this pin. And notice I can change what it is. Um, I kind of like the guy with the horse, but you can use anything. You can go ahead and change it to whatever you want. Um, And there, there's lots of, of different things here, but I'm just going to go back to the, the guy on the horse. Okay, and then I click OK. Now I'm going to give this a title. So I'm going to go Gettysburg Address. And then right here, this is where I'm going to have to put some of that code. So whenever I want to create a new paragraph or new line, I'm going to go like this with the P with those um, two pointers there and so I'm just gonna type in my uh, title here or some instructions okay so here's my instruction it says visit the website and look at the timeline the kids made um, and when you're there click on the pictures about it what I'm talking about is this website that I found right here so I wanna make a hyperlink um, to this timeline. So I'm just going to go up here and copy the address. Then I'm going to go back to Google Earth. Now in order for me to put this in the text I have to write some some code. And so this one is and then the A and then make sure you have a space there. Um, H R E F and again I, I know all this because I found it on that paper I printed off. Okay, so I type that and then I'm going to paste in my web address. So that's there. And then I have to end it with the code as well. And then I'm going to write whatever I want it to say on the page. So I'm just going to type in timeline. And then that will be the link to it. But then again, I have to end this with a code. And again, I'm finding this all on um, that page I printed off. OK, so now that's telling them to go to that web uh, website. But now I want to put in a video. So I want to give some instructions on a video I found on YouTube. So each line I'm just gonna put this and then I'm gonna type some directions okay so there's my first set of directions so I'm gonna end that with with the same code here and then I wanna ask, um, ask them a question that they're going to answer after they watch the video so again I, I need to start with that same code then I'm going to say, when you are done, answer this question. Um, now I want to italicize this question. So again, I'm going to look on that sheet. I'm going to find out how do I italicize. So I just copy that code in here. And then I write out the question I, I want them to answer. So again, there's, there's my question. Now I need to end the italicize, so there's a code for that. And you have to be really careful when you type this in because it has to be exact or, or it won't work. And then I'm going to end the, the line here with that code. 
Okay, and so now I can just put the, the video in, and, and putting the video in is probably the easiest part, because you've already done it. I'm going to just get the embed code, because it's already in the code. Um, I don't need to do anything except for copy it, and then pasting it in. Okay, so I've, I've got all this. Let, let's take a minute and look what it, or see what it looks like. So I'm just going to click on that guy, that place marker. Okay, so here we have um, everything. So you don't see the code, but again, remember when I put the address in there and then the timeline? Now when they click that, they'll pull up the website. And then they can go through here and, and do that. I did notice that I had a typo, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right-click this icon I'm gonna to go to properties and I'm gonna find my typo it can be a little hard but see I put why id it important so I'm just gonna change that to is I can change uh, the style and color of it so I can change the color here um, of the label the words uh, so watch if I, I go like that the words will change um, I can do the same thing with the horse. Let's say I, um, I want to change the color. I can do the same thing here. I can also change the size of this so it's easier for my students to read. Um, I can, anyway, you play around with this. Again, print off that page from the website. Um, use it. That's really your key for, for the coding. Um, it, it's easy to, to use after a little practice. Um, and good luck. Have fun with this.